Hey, what's going on, everyone? It's Walt here from Down the Block Sports, and today I want to talk about the NFL. The New England Patriots were on the road tonight against the Green Bay Packers. I want to recap that game and tell, give you a breakdown of the performance of one of their quarterbacks. Again, I'm Alec Walt. This is Down the Block Sports. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more of my exclusive content. Yes, the New England Patriots lost to the Green Bay Packers tonight, 27 to 24 on the road. And it was a game that Patriots fans weren't too confident with going into tonight's game. Um, Mac Jones was injured, injured his ankle last week against the Baltimore Ravens. Brian Hoyer, the veteran, was the starter for tonight's game. He dealt with an injury in the first half of this football game. And in comes rookie fourth round pick Bailey Zapp for his first NFL appearance. Not at home, on the road, in a tough environment. And I'm going to say straight up, I was pretty impressed. Now, when you look at the stat sheet, numbers don't blow you away. Again, he didn't play the full game, but he finished tonight's performance 10 for 15 with 99 yards and a touchdown. So the Patriots throughout this game had to adjust on the fly. They went into this game, game planning for a quarterback in Brian Hoyer. Bailey Zapp comes into this first, comes in in the first half and they had to make some adjustments. You know, obviously, we saw the additional offensive lineman. They wanted to increase his protection. Uh, they wanted to, again, continue to dominate on the ground. Ramondre Stevenson, Damian Harris, specifically Harris, both had very, very good football games. And this wasn't really a game that he was slinging the ball around the field, throwing the ball 45 times. It was a game where they kept his game plan pretty conservative for a conservative offense, really, to begin with. Uh, what I will say, there were some things that really impressed me with Zapp's performance tonight against the Green Bay Packers. Uh, a couple of performances we, we saw coming into um, Western Kentucky, coming in for the Patriots. His numbers in college were ridiculous. Everyone loved his arm. Um, I didn't think he got to showcase his arm very much tonight, but on a couple of plays in particular, one to Nelson Aguilar, who really wasn't covered very well, and the other to Devontae Parker, which led to a touchdown. You can say whatever you want about that specific touchdown. I do believe it was a massive officiating error in regards to not knowing how much time was left on the play clock. But beside the point, we saw him throw two, some beautiful passes. Got the ball down the field. I mean, what's been my biggest complaint all season about the Patriots? They don't get the ball down the field. We saw some instances where Zapp was able to do that. Now, I don't think the game plan was really for him to pass the ball that much. I do think the Patriots kind of held him back a little bit from slinging the ball around too many times. But one thing I liked was in those specific moments where he saw an open receiver and found, or had the confidence to throw the ball down the field in a tough environment, he did it. And um, yes, late in the game and in overtime, we didn't see the best version of him. He is a rookie. Um, he is someone that had no NFL experience coming into this game. He is someone who doesn't really understand winning in the NFL going up against Aaron Rodgers. I mean, it's just a tough reality. The Patriots were in position to win this football game. It didn't. Um, but when I look at just overall, you have to love his, what he did throwing the football. I mean, I don't know who the quarterback's going to be next week. We'll see what the evaluation with Mac Jones. I don't think, Zap did anything tonight to tell you that he's someone who should start over Mac Jones, but the Patriots have a raw quarterback that showed a lot of skill today. You know, he came in in that tough environment, played well, gave them the chance to win, showed his arm strength, should get to convince the Patriots that if he plays more to throw the ball more down the field. Also, like when the Patriots play their best offensively, we're seeing big plays from guys like Nelson Aguilar. We haven't seen Devontae Parker do anything this year until today when he found a way to score that touchdown. You want to get those guys involved in the offense to extremely important pieces to the team? You got to throw the ball down the field. And that's what Zappi showed tonight. Now, he took a couple sacks, uh, one bad one in the fourth. He cannot do that as a quarterback. When he was scrambling, when he was under pressure, he was running around like a chicken with his head cut off. You know, I'm not going to say that I have something I could do, but that's something I saw tonight coming out of him. And Green Bay increased their pressure later in this game. Uh, there were some moments where he nearly threw some interceptions in some key situations, one specifically in overtime. Green Bay, of course, was able to get the ball back and eventually kick a field goal to win this game by three. But when I look at the Patriots, this potential project here with Bailey Zach is looking promising. Do I think he's going to be an eventual start in the NFL? Who knows? But he 
definitely put together some solid film. And he's a fourth round pick. He's a backup. He's someone I expect to be a backup. Mac Jones is the face of this team. But what's the upside of drafting a quarterback later in the draft? You know, the potential to start or the potential to trade before his rookie contract ends. So right now it's a development with him. It's still, he's still raw. He still needs to learn how to win. He still needs to learn not to take those bad sacks. He needs to learn how to deal with those pressure moments on the road. And that's something hopefully he can do down the road. But through his first appearance in the NFL, I was very impressed. This kid has a real arm and threw the ball down the field and made some plays that we haven't seen many of with the New England Patriots in 2022. So hopefully Mac Jones comes back. Because if Mac was QB tonight, the Pats had a, would probably have won this football game. But in the key moments, Aaron Rodgers stepped up. The Packers won. And the Patriots dropped to 1-3 and three on the 2022 season. What do you believe? What of Bailey Zapp's first NFL appearance here in the NFL? Feel free. Give me your thoughts in the comment section below. Also, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more of my exclusive content. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in, and we will see you very soon.